Can you see how grim that is? Oh my gosh. It is such a cold and a wet night. Hello everyone. When I film at night, there is a like, um, there is a cozy aura. Well, here she comes. See, it's so funny when I talk to the camera because Myrtle immediately thinks someone's visiting. She can't work out why I'm sitting here. So she, she was fast asleep and now she's gonna come. You're gonna come up here? Come on then, come up and say hello. I know you want to. We've got someone coming for dinner. We've got someone coming for dinner, Mert. Mert? <laughs> what are you looking at? What are you looking at? We have got a guest for dinner. You, if you listen to my radio show, the wonderful young actor, Joss Van Tyler, he comes on my show, well, he's in loads of plays in the West End, he comes on, and he's also all over Radio 4, but I have a feature on my radio show called uh, Chewing the Fat, and he's a regular contributor, and he's absolutely brilliant. He's sharp, he's witty, extremely stylish, and my neighbour. And um, so to pay him back, I've asked him over for dinner, and um, then I'm going to go into work. So it's an early supper, even though it is very, very dark outside. And he is extremely stylish, and I'm slopping around in my comfies. Mert. Do you know how much I love this dog? Should we put the camera on you? It's far more pleasant than me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. <laughs> so, yes, I'm in my comfies, and I, he said to me, what's the dress code? He sent me a text, and I said, casual. It's a cold, wet night. So he literally lives over there. Where I shine my camera out that window is his apartment. So um, I've got a little bottle of champagne. And when I say a little bottle, it's a tiny bottle of champagne on ice. Or not on ice, in my fridge. So I thought we might share a tiny bottle. Do you like resting your head there? Oh, yes. Oh, Nice to be inside and cosy, actually. So yeah, I better go and prepare for dinner. Hello, Joss. Hello. Oh, this is Joss Van Tyler, everybody. You've met him, actually, a couple of times. Hello, this is Myrtle. Myrtle absolutely loves Joss. So as, um, as a thank you for coming on my radio show at a moment's notice, which he often does, by the way, we, because Joss lives over the road and because he's an actor and he's up late, when we need someone, if they drop out, we just go phone, phone Joss, phone Joss, and he comes on. Which, often you're like getting ready for bed. I'm often in the bath. Often in the bar. Or out at dinner. Yes, but he still does or it. Or on the tube. But he goes to a quiet Or in a play. play. Or in a play, he's in a play. Um, but he's all over Radio 4. But, um, just to thank you for everything, I am going to cook you dinner. <gasps> what are we having? Well, <laughs> It's Hello Fresh, and I bet you don't even know what Hello Fresh. No. Is. Do you not? You don't know what Hello Fresh is. I know. I've heard of it. I've not had it. You get it delivered. You get it delivered. It's like it's like dinner is served at your door, but you cook it. Does it come with a recipe? It comes with everything. Shall I just show you? Let's Let have me, a look. So you've got a choice, right? Is Myrtle Let me just, coming? No, Are you Myrtle's coming to not see coming. This Myrtle? no. Let hold these up. This is your choice. You have got a choice of, read it out. I've got sticky hunter's chicken. Oh, potatoes, mature cheddar cheese, garlic clove, chicken breast, streaky bacon, dried thyme, creme fraiche, chicken stock paste, tender stem broccoli, I love that, and barbecue sauce. So you can have that and everything is listed, right? It's a subscription service. So it you choose oh, from that. all the recipes. The Ooh, app look. is on your phone. Mango and coconut chicken curry. Oh, you get everything. You get all the- All of that. And on the back, Joss, it's got, it's everything is in six stages. Look oh, at that. Oh, I need this in my life. Don't you do? Because I try you and don't go cook. from one to six and I forget yes, two, three and four. And also you don't so. want all this stuff, so. Um, do you know what almost, else I do? I buy too much. Exactly. And I throw it away. But you don't with this. So we can have Cheesy that. crusted sea bass, look at that. I oh, know. Whole grain mustard, garlic clove. This looks wonderful. So which recipe would you like? I think I would, can I have that? That is the 
Hunter. Yeah, Sticky Hunter's chicken. That okay. And there is a salad there, I think, as well. Is there mm. a salad, an avocado salad? And a crunchy lettuce and avocado salad. That. So will you make the salad? I'm not trusted to do Sticky Hunter's chicken. No. I'm going to do crunchy lettuce, okay. tomato and avocado salad. Okay. And 2A. I'm it's called. Two A. So the bag comes with the number on. And they even show you how to do a salad. That's they do, not yeah. half bad, well, is that's, it? And, and also they tell you what, because I've only got two saucepans. Can you hold this for me? Yes. Yeah. Just, just so I can talk um, to me. Thank you. So what I'm going to show, what you do, oh, just follow me, Joss, is it's on the app. And I'm going to, you've got to get the app, Joss, because it's so very simple. You just get the app. Hello, Fresh. Go into that, it's all on there, and you just choose literally the recipes you want. And once you subscribe, you can stall, you can, you know, if you're going to go away or something, or you just think, I'm not going to be around for a couple of weeks, you can stall. It's really flexible. Um, and there's all different, there's family ones, there's luxury, luxury ones, there's, you know, I don't have luxury, I like really quick, simple ones. But before we get going, the time to start subscribing to HelloFresh is when you get people like me with a discount. So there is a discount, and I always come to you when Fresh HelloFresh have a discount. What is the discount? The discount discount is sixty percent off the first order. Wow. Sixty percent, and then you get twenty five percent off the next two months. And do they use your name? Yes. Is it a code? So the code. Well done. The code. Thank you, Joss. The code is. 60 Hello Joe, and I'll leave it on the screen. 60 Hello Joe. Could I use it if I do it? Yeah, no, yeah you anyone must, can do it. Truly, and yeah. then you'll have literally the first month 60% off, and then the next Amazing. month. Amazing. So, we're going to get cooking. Yes? We're going to get cooking. Yeah. I'm doing the salad. He's doing the salad. I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm so impressed that you get all these little bits because oh, I everything. would go out and buy everything every no, no, and then I throw just... things away because things go off. And so let this me just show perfect. you the one we're doing, which is the chicken. You only get what you need, so you're not got anything extra. The, the the potatoes, the broccoli, everything is like that. That's your salad. You're doing salad. This is your salad. That's Your mom's ahead of me. Look at that. That's amazing. If anybody's watching at home, can I just show you this? A sachet of honey. This is genius. Isn't it? And I need one of those sachets. In a, and red wine vinegar. Yep. I've never got that in. No, you wouldn't have it. And if you and, just wouldn't have it. And if you had it, you'd never use it more no, than once. No, it'd go off. My Le Creuset dish that you knew I bought at Christmas is going to come in very handy because I'm doing the potatoes job in the Le Creuset. Joss is very good because he cleans as he goes. Clean as you go. Muggle makes muggle. But it's easy cleaning. Can I just point out that these, look, you just lob them in the bin. No wiping jars, pop them into the recycling. This has got a real nice low carbon footprint about it all. Uh, oh gosh, very low carbon footprint. And also, can I just say, this is honestly, and look how fresh everything is. So this is the broccoli, the carrots, the potatoes, the salad. There is no middle, so it comes straight from the farm to HelloFresh, so it's not hanging around on supermarket shelves. Delicious. You're looking for the bin. Bin. Picture and I am so proud I'm of I'm very us. proud because I thought that the broccoli, look at this. It's amazing. You've done it perfectly. And it smells. I know it you can't smell because it's screen, you, but. But we, and we've been chatting all the way through, but it took us, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, easy. 20 minutes. Yeah, easy. And Maybe that's three mine. Maybe minutes prep. Shall I just do a bite test? Yes, do a bite test. My mouth is actually watering. That's barbecue sauce on there. Mm, it's amazing. Is it? Mmm. Mm. Right, I'm going to join you now.
good morning everybody. It is the most beautiful morning. It's Monday and the sun is out and yeah, it's just lovely out there. Thank heavens. I am, um, right, Myrtle's gonna start bringing me toys. I think we'll put you in the other room, Mert, because I want to do some serious talking. Serious talking. Yes, sorry about that. Good girl. Ah, right. She has had a long walk this morning. I went out very early into Paddington Gardens, which is just around the, the corner. Um, I just thought I'd have a bit of a catch up because today is Monday and the week, this week is going to be very, very full on. And um, I wanted to say that, oh, I don't want really to get sentimental. And I, you know, I, I follow lots of YouTubers. Actually, that's a lie. I follow probably three YouTubers and I, you know, I know the ploys and I know the thumbnails and everything else, but I, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> here she comes. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you because this week is full on and it's down to you that it is. It's down to you that I am spinning plates. What a luxury, what a luxury at this age and at this time in my life and this part of my career, what, all down to you. So what I'm gonna be doing this week is, and I share it with you, the chewing is Myrtle, and I, she's chewing on a yak stick, so forgive me. Can't you chew on your lobster? Chew, look, look, it's, lobster's lost four of its claws. Um, I don't think, in this world of social media, there is a direct, a direct reaction to whatever you post. You, you know, in, in radio, there is this thing called Rage R and no one actually knows whether it's accurate. If, you know, if you have the listeners they say you have, or no one ever knows on radio. You, for some reason they can't, actually count how many people listen to you accurately. Social media, like that. You're either doing well if you post something, or you're not. And as I said to you before, on my YouTube channel, it actually gives you feedback. So I always, on a Sunday, after the very first hour, so I post at 10, at 11, it gives me feedback. And it will say, looking good, you're doing well, or this isn't performing as well as it should do, which is like, and once it says that, you know it's gonna be a bad day. But it's good, I mean, it, this is why brands like to collaborate because they have instant feedback from whoever they are paying to collaborate with. They know immediately if that person is connecting or not. Now, this is a long-winded way of saying what I'm doing this week is down to you. It is down to you. Um, this this vlog is not sponsored. I'm not doing any collaborations this week. I because I have a week where I'm just running here, there, and everywhere. And um, one of the things is the Sheer Luck Show. And I've said this to you. I absolutely love that channel. I love the vibe. I love going in there. I've filmed little bits on my Instagram leading up to it, um, teasers, and it will go live on Tuesday night. So by the time you're watching this, it's there on YouTube, and I'm going to leave the link below. But the whole reason I work with Sheer Lux is down to you, because this is a young brand, Sheer Lux. It's, Lux, it's, I go in there and there's these groovy young people who are so lovely to me. They are so kind and lovely and explain all this technology which I don't get. And they're using me, they're using me. Why? Because of you, all of you came with me. You actually said, can we have more of Joe? Do you know, I mean, it's, it's amazing, <laughs> truly. So that's what I'm doing this week. Thank you. The other thing I'm doing this week um, is this lobster's gradually disappearing in front of your eyes. Actually, Myrtle makes a huge appearance on Sheer Lux in not a very flattering way. 
you need to watch it. I'm amazed they put it out because it's not the sort of the side of life Sheer Lutz like to show, but anyway. Um, the other thing I'm doing this week is I am having a very important meeting with the BBC and my agent. And I know my agent and the BBC will say, you shouldn't really be putting that this out on social media. And I just think, why, why not? I am only here because of you. And I, you know, this is, what have I got to lose? What have I got to lose? You know, I'm own, I've am i been honest all my life. I, uh, I say it as it is, and on my radio show, I say I've no idea what is happening to me in the future because there are massive changes across the board. I've, I've already undergone massive changes, haven't I? I'm on it late at night when I used to be on during the day. So what is the next plan? This is what I will find out on Thursday. Now, obviously, I can't take you in with me. Can you imagine if I took my vlogging camera in and sat it down as management started? I mean, I should, but I wouldn't. Not even I would do that. Um, but that's on Thursday. So yeah, that then I'll know, by the time you're watching this, I will know a lot more. Or will I? Who knows? Well, I should, who knows? Um, do they know what's gonna happen? Probably not. I mean, I, I will share with you what I discover anyway. Um, so that's the other thing. Um, the other thing is these, so this again is down to these earrings. So many of you commented, uh, and I very seldom, you've probably noticed, I very, very seldom ever do affiliated links. I just can't, I don't, can't be bothered. I don't have the time and it's such a, I mean, uh, I just don't. But I do collaborations, as you know. These are not a collaboration. Um, I buy these earrings. Um, and they're from a designer called Anna Bairdun. She was designing and selling in a little marketplace in Marylebone. She's a beautiful jeweler, uh, jewelry designer. And loads of you asked, and, the, and she now calls them the Joe Good earrings on her website. She sent me an email and said, we've got a pop-up in Selfridges. This is huge, this is a big deal. If you're a little independent jeweler, um, and I filmed some of this actually with Sheer Lux, but I was filming for myself at the same time. And I, I said, are you, up to myself, are they gonna call them the Joe Good Earrings in Selfridges? Because no one in Selfridges or anyone outside this community knows who the hell I am. Um, and they haven't, they said that, yeah, they can't, they, they're not allowed, there's a certain branding, they can't do branding like that. They just have her branding and her jewellery. But I went along, Myrtle, I went along to Selfridges to meet Anna and to have a look at the collection, which is still there. So you can pop along to Selfridges and I'm going to insert that here. So these, this is, those are the Joe Good earrings, the ones that I'm wearing, and this is Anna's pop up so if you come in everybody um, if you come into it's the accessories part of Selfridges and she's right by the door that's um, what would I say that is down the side street of Oxford Street so yeah I can't remember what that street's called but anyway go into accessories and um, you will find her she's going to turn up hopefully so we can have a bit of a chat they're lovely I love that. Anna Bear Dunn. Hello. Anna, can you just show everybody the Joe Good earrings? Well, Anna's wearing the Joe Good yeah. earrings. And now they're on display. Can you just take us around to, to show them? See here at the collection of earrings and then the Joe Good. How many people have earrings named after them? Oh wow! I know. I am so lucky. You are the. Are they popular? Are they popular? They are very popular. Yes. Thanks to you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I do my bit. They have like Joe Good earrings. You know? <laughs> we have people always, you know, asking about. Oh, oh, I just I think you're you. so talented. You are so talented. And what does this mean for? a jeweler to have a pop-up in a store like this this is a big deal isn't it yeah for us it's very new uh, we are all obviously overly excited to be here in selfridges 
um, it's an opportunity to showcase our collections to a kind of a bigger audience. I wanted to show oh, yes. the hard locket. Oh, the hard locket. That's one of my newest uh, acquisitions. And it's just for well, newer creations. So this is, oh my god. Here you have no. my children, but oh my, you know. And you can put a hair in there. Yes, and it's a, hidden, it's a hidden hinge. It took me a lot of time to master this. The hinge? The hinge, yes, because um, technically it was kind of like quite tricky. So I had to kind of have like three attempts to to the design. So you never it. think about that, no, how no, intricate that, was that very is. Intricate. Wow, what a lovely gift, everybody for Valentine's Day. Yeah, so it's got studded diamonds. They're diamonds. Yes, they're oh diamonds. Gosh. So it's silver, oxidized silver. Wow, uh, with gold plated details and diamonds. Wow. Listen, everybody, this is here until the end of the month, until the end of March, is that right? Uh, um, no, um, yes. End of yeah, March. end of March, so you yeah. need to get down here. If you can't, if you're watching us all over the world, then go online to Annaved and I'll leave the link below. And um, I've never seen this collection, this is the first time I've seen this collection, so really excited and congratulations. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday. And it's very early in the morning, it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm, um, you know, I said in my last week's vlog, I get very nervous. So today is the recording of Sheer Lux. I know a lot of what I'm filming is based on Sheer Lux at the moment. It's because it's, um, it's a really special project for me to be presenting in vision after a long time of not presenting in vision. I get very, very nervous because, as I said last week, um, I'm using an auto cue which I'm not particularly <laughs> experienced in. They've sent me um, they've sent me the script early, and I think it's because they saw last week's vlog where I said I was a bit nervous about auto cue. And there are two words that I have to say. I'm interviewing a neuroscientist, and I have to say, uh, leading neurogeneticist in a field of neurodegenerative, I said it, neurodegenerative in the same sentence. Neurogeneticist in a leading field of neurodegenerative research. Oh my gosh, if I can just say it like that. I've been stumbling, I've been practicing all morning. I'm, I am interviewing this extraordinary guy on dementia, Professor David Hardy, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so yeah, he's he's on the show, plus, um, well, I don't want to tell you who else, you have to watch it. I don't even know when it's going to be out. But anyway, I'm heading over to Clapham, and um, yeah, you seldom see me like this. It's, you know, I'm not in my comfort zone, but that really does me a lot of good, because the radio, I'm always in my comfort zone. I sit behind a microphone in my studio, it's like a womb, I'm so comfortable. This is an area, you know, I'm working with very, very young people. I have to look really good. In radio, you can, no one sees you. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been trying to get my face to open up. Um, I'm going on the tube, which is always a bit daunting because I'm going to be in the rush hour. I'm not going to film all that. The next clip. I'll be there. I'm not going to concentrate a lot on sheer lux. I just wanted, because I share everything with you, practically everything, I just wanted to let you know how I feel about this project. And also, as I said last week, it's down to you lot that I'm even doing it because you supported me so much when we did the first show that they've asked me back and that's down to you. So thank you. Thank you so much. You are leading my career 
into a direction that I'm just, I'm just so grateful for because I'm old to be doing this. You can all say, oh, age is just a number. That's rubbish. It isn't, is it? We know it isn't. Age is age. Can you hear me? <laughs> Myrtle is snoring under the bed. I've got my friend Susie coming in to um, look after her today, to pop in and out on her because I'm going to be out all day. Right, cracking on. Recognise Henry, everybody. That's Henry who came out with me on a day in the life. And um, this is so, I'm doing the community takeover in sheer luck. This is like, I'm so, there are two things worrying me. One is auto cue because I'm absolute crap at it. The other is saying neurodegenerative, neurodegenerative, which is part of an interview I'm doing. I sat on the tube saying neurodegenerative and neuro, neurogenetics, neurogenetics. I just, it's a quite a heavy interview. Thank heavens it comes at the end of the whole show because um, I haven't got the word right yet. But I'll just keep... Look at everyone gathering. Look at... This is behind the scenes of she. Is the editor. You caught me shopping. <laughs> She's shopping! I love it! That's what you dream that they do, you shop. But no, they're working very hard. And they're setting up my computer here. The joining team. So, I, yes, yeah, so I'm part of this whole setup today. Talk about living the dream. So, yeah, so we're going to um, do the community takeover then. I'm going to do um, a photo shoot, which is um, quite nice. Um, and then I'm going to go and do the Gold Sherlock show. It's a busy morning. And uh, it was drizzly, so my hair's a little bit frizzy, but um, everyone's arriving. Look at this. They're giving me a laptop more than I get at the BBC. <laughs> Brilliant. My producer, there he is. Um, and then there we go. Little dog here. Are you helping everyone? Yes. I'm doing my questions. I'm being very good at answering all your questions. I've eaten a croissant. I haven't had a croissant for years, but I was up very early, as you know. Mmm. I'm actually in the sheer lap's office doing, answering all of the questions you're sending in. Thank you for sending them in. Phew. So, so far. We actually have Georgie here. Can I, Georgie watching me do my homework, everybody. Homework. I'm typing with two fingers answering these questions. Well, and somebody has just asked, and this is really, really interesting. Do you lose your edge, fashion-wise, if you move out of London? I think this is really interesting because all the barber stuff and everything, you can wear it in Chelsea. Does it actually work if you're, you know, ploughing the Yorkshire moors? And would you be wearing what we're all wearing if you're in a field? I, I, Why am I asking, Georgie? <laughs> well, I was. At, I spent the week in Somerset last week. Gee, is that your natural home? No, it's not. But I had a lovely time, and I can safely say I wore nothing that I'm wearing now. Day. and thank you all of you who sent in questions I can't believe it I'm just sitting there answering questions for well, we filmed the show between 10 and 11 the next and between is Charing Cross change here for the Northern London and National Rail Services exit here Trafalgar Square National Gallery and National Portrait Gallery thank you um, so between 11 and 4 o'clock, I will be literally answering all your questions. Thank you. They make me look so good in their eyes. I love it there. It's just like a party. I just absolutely love it. Anyway, Myrtle's had two walks. I'm going to take her out for another one. Um, and then I'm going to have something to eat. And then I'm going to have um, probably a bath and um, go into work. Oh, 
Hello, good morning. You must think I just spend my time in um, Knightsbridge and department stores. I'm actually in the Mandarin Oriental in Knightsbridge. I'm certainly not staying here. I am filming today uh, for a collaboration in Harvey Nicks. And I've come in here because I'm really early. It's um, a very early shoot at uh, nine o'clock. Um, and I'm at half past eight having a comfort break here in these amazing restrooms. Um, it requires I have no makeup on, so I have no makeup on. You can hear the fan, sorry, that's probably a bit annoying. What unctions do they use at the Mandarin? In the old days, when I used to do junkets with celebrities, um, we used to do them here, and it was amazing. We used to love it because they'd bring you a fresh fruit platter as you were interviewing Marky Mark and the A-listers. Um, and all the A-listers stay here. It's fantastic. It's right on the corner um, in Knightsbridge. Anyway, I must crack on. I've got to go over to Harvey Nicks. Then I'm going to Harrods because I want to get some clay de peau. Um, it's a, quite an indulgent vlog, this, isn't it? But anyway, it's my life, as my life is at the moment. Oh my goodness, this is like, this is my dream. I'm in Harvey Nicks with no one else. They've just let us, well, I probably shouldn't say that, but they've just let us walk through. We're going into the beauty department. Um, there's no one here. You never hear Harvey Nicks silent because it is like an ongoing party. But look, and we're in the menswear. <laughs> I'm just following this beautiful girl. Who are you? I'm Lovecast. You can find me on Instagram, Lovecast underscore, and you can also find me on YouTube. That's how you do it, everybody. Lovecast. I'm following Lovecast. We've only just met at the door. She's leading the way. She's like head girl. Right, here we go. Okay, let's see what's the best way. So I know we have escalators. This is truly a breakfast meeting in Harvey Nicks. I have never been to a breakfast meeting. These girls, these are major influencers and they go for meetings like this all the time. I have never ever been to a breakfast meeting in Harvey Nicks. The food, I'm not going to film the product because I'm not actually going to talk about it for a while. The food, amazing, amazing. And that's the Mandarin Oriental where I was in the loo earlier on. This is Leonora, everybody. Oh my goodness. So, it's so gorgeous to see you, my darling. How are you? I, I'm so pleased I've got my camera. She has to bob down because I am so <laughs> short. I've also got very high heels on. But so have I, Leonora. <laughs> This is, <coughs> excuse me everybody, this is the beautiful Leonora Smith, who I bumped into Maribone High Street, and I just accosted you, didn't I? I just said, hello, I'm one of your followers. <laughs> Honestly, it was so wonderful though. It's so, so lovely to like meet all of you, and just, it's gorgeous, and your smiling face. It's so lovely, we're all here, we're here in Harvey next, before it's even opened for a breakfast event. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, how glad are we? You know I love Clay de Poe and people go on and on about, oh my gosh, Joe, it's in Harrods. I think Harrods is the only store you can get it. And um, the reason I love it, okay, so I've just had my skin looked at and um, it's doing quite well. And I very seldom use foundation, but I use this because it's got skincare in it. And the Dean Baggett said to me, when she saw me wearing this, she said, I love that foundation, what is it? I said, it's Clay de Poe. And she was. She said it really suits you. But I was wearing. I was wearing one that was too shade. The shade too light. So I've gone for. If anyone's watching, this. I haven't got my glasses on. Forgive me. I was using O30. Um, and the, no, I was using O20. And the shade I needed was O30. So lots of you were asking about that. Also. This is the red lipstick that I, I use. They gave me this red lipstick as a freebie when I bought the foundation. Look how much I've used it. It is the perfect red, I love it. Don't actually know what the red, what is the name of this red? It's that one, which is 
Uh, Legend of Rouge, Legend of Rouge 103. So now you know, and these are luxury items. And I know they're luxury, but um, it suits me. It really does suit me, so I can't say any more than that. And I'm in Harrods, and I've been in Harvey Nicks, and what a ridiculous life I'm leading. Please don't think my life is always like this. You know it's not. Well, hello everyone. It is two o'clock in the morning, and it's a... Uh, no, Murphy, you're not coming in. Um, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because usually I am in the back of the cab chatting to Dave, but no Dave because he's in LA. Um, so I just thought I would just say goodnight to you whilst I'm taking off my makeup. And yeah, it was a completely different cab driver. By the way, this is um, Clarins eye makeup remover. Completely different cab driver tonight. And I do miss Dave, but I know he said he was going to send um, a video to all of us from LA where he says he's actually just watching The Real Housewives. Anyway, um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Can I just say, oh by the way, I am using my cleanser, oh my gosh, it is the um, Plantastic, Plantastic, or I suppose it's Beauty Pie Cleanser, I love this so much and I'm going to order another one and I will leave a link below for this. This isn't collaboration, I just love this cleanser. I love a lot of beauty products. Um, I'm keeping my voice down because I live in an apartment and there are people all around who are probably thinking, is she, who's she talking to in that loud voice? Anyway, um, could I just say, oh, this is a beauty pie cloth. I'm going to... Can I just say, thank you to all of you. What do I look like? Thank you to all of you. Who... watched my Sheer Lux show. And for those of you who are fed up listening to me going on about it, sorry, but it is a big deal in my life because I, it's a big deal being asked to present it. I'm going to leave the link below in case you haven't seen it. Please give us a thumbs up under that Sheer Lux, Sheer Lux show, I'm tired, Sheer Lux show link. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment because they read them all and I read them all. And also for this vlog, sorry, I'm really asking a lot of you, Give us a thumbs up for this vlog and leave a comment. And I know you'll all be thinking, how did my meeting go? I'm optimistic. I am optimistic. I'm not allowed to say any more, apparently. But, of course, you can see my lavatory. This is not a glamorous bathroom. I love this bathroom, but it's not. I haven't got lights. I need a ring light. A ring light isn't going to do anything for this face, but, oh, uh, oh, the joy of taking makeup off. I'm um, sorry about the lighting. This is really bad, but as I say, it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm going to bed. So, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for constantly supporting me. Oh. Super Retinol Beauty Pie. Again, not sponsored, just love it. Always follow with an SPF the following day. I am going to bed. You have been so supportive. Look at the beauty, uh, look at the Sheer Luck show. I'll put the link below. Click on it, give us a thumbs up, and for this one as well, and subscribe. I'm now just begging. I'm sure you're all thinking, please go to bed, Joe. Please go to bed. 
Right. You're in a cupboard. I'm going to bed. I will see you next Sunday. <laughs>